Well guys, it seems these Fioki holes are no good. We had one bust on us at the range and we caught it on film. You guys will see that in just a moment. But I just want to talk about these for a second here. They are paper-based shells just like a Federal. The head on them is legit brass. It is not bra uh, brass-plated steel. I have no idea how old these things are, but I don't know if age would play a factor in them becoming weak over time. But uh, it's not just these. I also have these. I bought two boxes of them. I'll show you the box. It's right here. Winchester Double X Magnum 10 gauge 54 pellet number four buckshot. I bought those shells probably, I want to say a month before I got my first 10 gauge, the big 36 inch barrel. Um, now, these shells are very similar to the Fiocchi's. These also have a fiber base wad and an actual brass head on them with the rings and all. It's not the same shell, but the plastic, it looks identical. This is darker because it's been fired, but I don't know if you guys can see it, but the ribs on the plastic is the exact same. Now, I don't know if Winchester was making their own shells back then, all of them, but now they don't. They outsource hulls from Shadat. I'm pretty sure Fioki too. Actually, I know Fioki. Ballistic Products had some Fioki branded, uh, Winchester branded Fioki hulls for sale a few months ago. All I'm saying is these Winchester hulls look just like the Fiokis. The only difference I can see is the banding on the brass is just a little bit different. Now, I mentioned this at the end of the video you guys are about to see, but my friend Zach, I bought him some of these hauls off Gunbroker, I think about a year ago now, or if not, it's been very close to a year, and he loaded one up. I'm not sure what he loaded it with. I believe it was a two-ounce nickel-plated lead shot load for turkeys because that's what he was loading his uh, Federals with, that exact load right there with Blue Dot. And never had an issue out of the Federals. In fact, he killed a turkey at 60 yards with one. But he fired one of these Fiokis that he loaded, and the exact same thing happened. Um, I totally forgot all about that ever happening to him. I am 100% positive that the load was not the problem. It was a 20-pellet, single-out buck load with long shot. We have fired that same load I don't know how many times out of Federals, Remingtons, and Winchesters. The new dry lock hauls, newer anyway. Not one single issue, but... As you guys will see, all of the Fiocchi loads that we fired on the range the other day, they all had extraction problems. They got stuck in the chamber, and one finally popped. Now, we should have realized that the Fiocchi holes were having a problem. I even addressed it on camera. Josh fired one. It got stuck. I asked him, was that a Fiocchi hole? He said, yep. And I knew right then that the Fiocchi holes were probably not good to use. He fired another one, and it also got stuck. And, uh... At that point, I was certain we were having problems with the Fiocchi shells. And in a video a few weeks ago, I posted um, with the barrel that Jim had sent us, we had a Fiocchi hog get stuck in that gun too. Now, like I said, Zach experienced the same issue with the same haul about a year ago. I just completely forgot about it. But guys, you really should be watching out for warnings like that and take it as a major red flag when you experience issues like this. Maybe there's a reason they stopped making those hauls and Winchester stopped using that specific haul for their loads. While we're talking about those Winchester hauls, I have two of them here actually, that's split. These were not hand loads by the way. These were factory, you know, brand new loads. Um, there's been a few people on the Buck and Slug group on Facebook post about these Winchester hauls, these same ones right here cracking. Theirs were a uh, steel shot and these buckshot shells too. I actually found a picture that someone posted, this haul of course. I'll show that at the end of the video along with the shell that uh, busted on Zach. But yeah, it seems with lighter loads they might be okay. So I may use them with black powder or very low pressure smokeless loads. I'm talking stuff like Green Dot or uh, Hodgdon Clay, stuff ounce and a quarter or less. But anyway guys, I'm going to uh, roll on with the film now. You'll see the two that stuck on Josh and the one that busted on him. Fioki hole? Huh? Is that a Fioki hole? No. Yeah. Guys, it seems them Fioki holes are kind of sticky in the gun. Yeah. There's a piece of white something over there.
Huh. That case just busted. Did it? Yep. Powder burn on the fingers. No more Fioki holes. There's pieces of brass rolling around on the inside. That just blew up in the gun. Dang. We'll take it apart and show you. I'm not I'm not joking. Alrighty guys, you're getting ready to see as we see what happened. Yep. Busted the shell. Guys, oh. if you ever get these Fioki holes, do not use them. That one next one in the tube, I'm not shooting it. Yeah. But this is just to show you, you know, we don't we don't hide nothing from you. That's these are old and they're all brass. Hold on a sec here. Safe direction. I'll pull this next one out and I'll sh Appears to be very thin brass. This is not the first time this has happened with these. My friend Zach loaded one and shot it uh, back last year. He has some of these too. And the same thing happened to him. I'll try to find a picture of it, put it in here. But uh, I would not recommend using these shells.